Are double emulsions really so tricky to make? Let's find out. We will need the inner water phase, here dyed in green, the oil phase containing surfactant to stabilize the single emulsion droplets, the outer water phase that completes the double emulsion also containing surfactants, a pipette and pipette tips, and some wipes to keep everything as neat as possible. Finally, a vortex for emulsification. First, we cast drop the inner water phase into a centrifugation vial containing the oil phase and produce a single emulsion by vortexing. The size of the emulsion droplets can be controlled through the diameter of the vial and vortexing speed. Bigger vials and higher speeds make smaller droplets. The emulsion droplets are now sitting on the top due to their lower density compared to the oil. We now carefully collect them with a pipette. Discard all the oil collected in the pipette tip. This will reduce the number of empty emulsion droplets at the end. And transfer the droplets to the outer water phase, making sure that the pipette tip is inside the medium. To produce the double emulsion, we just have to vortex it again. Thinner oil shells can be obtained either increasing the vortex speed or the diameter of the centrifuge tube. Both increase the centrifugal forces experienced by the double emulsion droplets. We can observe now how the double emulsion droplets, heavier than the medium, slowly deposit at the bottom. And here is the final result. With our method, making double emulsions is quite simple.